Before his death in early 2003 from cardiac arrest, Maurice Gibb was a member of beloved pop group The Bee Gees. Of course, the B and G of the group's name stood for The Brothers Gibb, with Maurice having formed the band many decades prior alongside his brother, including twin brother Robin. After Maurice's death, the musicians' brothers were devastated. Not only had they lost their brother and bandmate, they also felt his death had been totally preventable. The issue was later settled out of court between Maurice's widow and the hospital where he had passed. Join Facts First as tragic new details change everything about Maurice Gibbs' death. When Bee Gees member Maurice Gibb passed away in January of 2003, fans of the legendary pop group were devastated. Upon Maurice's death, the remaining Bee Gees not only lost an important member of the band, but a real-life brother. Other parties who were affected by his shocking death were his wife and adult children. Maurice's wife at the time of his death was Yvonne Gibb, whom he'd been married to since 1975. Maurice's death had come as a surprise not only to the public, but also to those who knew the musician best. Maurice had been hospitalized for stomach pains, resulting in a successful surgery he was recovering from when tragedy struck. After arriving at the hospital and complaining of stomach pains, Maurice received emergency surgery to remove an intestinal blockage. It was while he was recovering that he tragically passed. The night following the surgery, his intestines burst open. As a result of this, he went into cardiac arrest. He was being held in a VIP room at the hospital that was five floors above where the emergency equipment was stored. Apparently, it took upwards of 10 minutes for the hospital's staff to get the necessary emergency supplies to Maurice upon the musician going into cardiac arrest, at which point fatal amounts of brain damage had already occurred. Understandably, his surviving brothers found themselves incredibly angry upon the news of his seemingly preventable death. Almost immediately, talk began springing up of the musician's surviving family hitting the facility where Maurice had passed away with a wrongful death suit. But it ended up being Maurice's widow who was given the power over whether or not to press charges, and she decided suing the hospital was wrong. She settled with the facility out of court, receiving an undisclosed sum of money. Surviving members Robin and Barry Gibb were forced to accept the decision, although they would have preferred the opportunity to be able to get justice in the courts. Upon Maurice's passing, his entire estate went to his widow and two surviving adult children. Those are Samantha and Adam, who were in their 20s at the time of their father's death. Maurice's estate was said to be valued at around $24 million and included the copyrights to all the musicians' works. The Bee Gees certainly had plenty of hits during their heyday, including Staying Alive. Robin and Barry Gibb consulted a team of lawyers about suing the hospital, but Yvonne ended up talking the brothers out of pursuing legal action. At the end of the day, the surviving Bee Gees were forced to come to terms with the death of Maurice and move on. In the years since Maurice's passing, his twin brother Robin has also passed away. He passed away in 2012, and 75-year-old Barry Gibb is the last remaining Bee Gee. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already, and stick around for more about Maurice Gibb's death. Following the tragic and seemingly preventable death of Bee Gees member Maurice Gibb in early 2003, fans were quick to join the remaining brothers Gibb to pay their respects to the musician. Alongside his brother, Maurice had climbed to success over the course of the 70s thanks to numerous popular hits, which included More Than a Woman and Night Fever, in addition to the aforementioned Staying Alive. While the Bee Gees remain best known to this day as a disco group, that label was something the band worked incredibly hard to escape. At the time of his death, Maurice was only 53. On the day leading up to the night of his passing, it seemed that things were turning around for Maurice and his health was picking back up. He'd been admitted to the hospital several days earlier, complaining of stomach pains. But those were thought to have been resolved thanks to subsequent emergency intestinal surgery. The initial fears that had swelled up amongst his loved ones had abated upon his seemingly successful surgery, and it looked like he would make a full recovery. Sadly, this wasn't the case. It seems the doctors didn't keep a close enough eye on him and were not prepared when his intestines burst during the night. The Bee Gees consisted of Maurice, Robin, and Barry, though there was a fourth Gibb brother who was also involved in popular music. That was Andy Gibb, who also died tragically. He was the youngest brother, and he passed away in 1988 at the age of only 30. He also passed away from issues relating to his heart. Because of Andy's death, the brothers Gibb already knew what it was like to suffer the death of a family member well before their time. During their heyday, the group had dozens of hits, including nine that reached number one on the charts. 
Today, the only artists that are recognized as being more successful than the Bee Gees are Elvis, the Beatles, and Michael Jackson. The Beatles were the group the Bee Gees were initially trying to emulate when they first broke onto the music scene in the 60s, but they eventually formed their own identity and became better known to the public with their own unique image. They remain best known for their soundtrack work on the film Saturday Night Fever. It included Staying Alive, More Than a Woman, and Night Fever. As a result, they received seven Grammy Awards over the course of their career. In 1997, several years before Maurice's passing, the group was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Despite being known for their disco-styled hits on Saturday Night Fever, the band hated being pigeonholed as a disco group. They had started out as a teen pop group, during which time they found success in Australia. Saturday Night Fever was released in 1977, meaning the peak of the Bee Gees' success came in the late 70s. Although Maurice Gibb was completely clean and sober by the time of his tragic death, he had suffered from numerous periods of substance abuse over the course of his life. His most prominent battles with substance abuse occurred when he was in his 20s and his 40s. It seems his substances of choice were alcohol and cocaine, though he had long since given up his bad habits by the time of his death. Starting in the 90s and leading up until his passing, he wore an alcoholic synonymous badge everywhere he went. Around the time of Saturday Night Fever's success, Maurice moved to Florida alongside his two bandmates. He lived there until his death, and he passed away at a Florida hospital. Yvonne Gibb was Maurice's second wife. He had been married to British pop singer Lulu for a short period of time. Upon Maurice's death, his ashes were formed into precious stones that were given to widow Yvonne, Barry, Robin, and the three brothers' mom. Robin Gibbs' 2012 funeral marked the first point since the creation of these precious stones that all of them were reunited in the same room. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Maurice Gibbs' death was preventable? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.